Hey folks, Ted here today with Xbed. Wanted to walk you through some of the details on the Xbed Bivy Poncho UL. Bivy Poncho UL, like all of the Xbed products, has a lot of really interesting details that really come into play when you're actually out in the field using them. Right now I'm wearing the Bivy Poncho UL over a backpack, as you can see right here, which is a great way to use it. Um, keeps everything in the pack dry. Ironically, I'm wearing a pack that is already dry, but oftentimes you're using a pack that doesn't have seam taping or waterproofness and you need something to keep it from getting wet when you're hiking in the rain. Today's a particularly cold and wet day so the way I've got the bivy poncho de uh, deployed is with a draw cord around the waist so it's not blowing around and I've also got a snap attached on the side. There's multiple snaps along the perimeter of this particular poncho so you can fasten it in any number of ways most appropriate to fit either a really huge pack or a really short pack. The other big advantage that having snaps along the perimeter gives you is that a poncho is a really versatile thing. And the nice thing is it fits pretty much everybody. It doesn't matter if you're this tall or if you're that tall. You can fit a whole broad range of people. And one of the ways to accommodate them with the snaps that we have on the bottom hem, there's a series of snaps right here midway that you can go ahead and snap it back onto. This allows you to go ahead and create a much shorter hem so I'm not having to drag it. It's also useful if I'm in a scenario where I'm hiking through lots of logs and I'm having to do a lot of stepping up and over it. Now the poncho is up and out of my way. In my case, I want the full length wet protection right there. should also point out real quickly, again, just a subtle detail, but it actually pays off really nicely. The bottom hem of this is actually somewhat of a circumferential or curved cut on the bottom. That means that when I drop it down on the bottom, we don't have the tails dragging in the muck all the time. A really nice feature to work with right there. The draw cord that I have at the waist, I'm going to untie that, basically, again, allows me to keep the poncho from blowing around in the wind like this. Now, if I'm just dealing with a spring breeze, it's not what we're dealing with here today, but it's nice and hot, and I just want to get some good ventilation, the beauty of a poncho is that I can just be wearing a wind shell underneath, and I mean not a wind shell, just a fleece, and I can just let this thing float in the breeze, gets great ventilation without, with minimal condensation buildup on the inside. Another feature I want to talk about on the Bivy Poncho UL is the hood. There's a lot of design work that goes in this hood. It seems like a really simple piece, what can be in a hood. But when you make a hood, you want to make sure it has plenty of room through the neck area so that I can actually stand over here and I can turn all the way over to you here and I can turn this way both directions. I've got plenty of room to work with between my head and my shoulder area. Even with pack straps on, I don't have to worry about the thing pulling and blocking all my vision. Oftentimes it's nice to wear a cap underneath. You can go without the cap. It's still got a really nice long visor on the top side, but just a very simple drawstring. When it's really blown, you snug that thing down, real tight seal around the face, or I can open it up just like so, drop it back. I've got easy coverage this way. So really simple in the way that it's worn, works really well in the field, nicely sculpted hood. Last but not least, the whole thing packs into a pocket right here on the chest. And if I flip this open like so, you can kind of see it dangling right here, along with my mic cables. <clears throat> when it's all done, I'm just going to pull out another one. It packs into a pouch about this size. Obviously, I can squish this down a whole lot more, take the extra cord, wrap it around and snug it up. Easy to work with there. Um, Watch for another video where we show how you can deploy this as a shelter. That is the Bivy Poncho UL. Thanks.